Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be taking a look at the latest ultra wide monitor from LG. This is the 49WQ95C, details are in the description below including purchasing links. Now this monitor has a huge 49 inch ultra wide curved screen with a 32 by 9 aspect ratio. It's the equivalent of having two 27 inch QHD monitors side by side but obviously without a bezel in the middle. It comes with an impressive spec which includes a nano IPS panel with HDR400, two 10 watt speakers a 144 Hz refresh rate, a USB type C connection with a 90 watt power delivery. So I'll be taking a look at the picture quality, how well it performs as a productivity monitor on both my PC and Mac. And I'll also test out some gaming to see how well it performs. So let's unbox this and see what you get inside. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. In the box, you get a cable management cover for the rear of the monitor, a monitor arm, monitor feet, a box with some accessories, and in there you get a power cable with a kettle connector, a cable which has a Type-C connector on both ends, a display port cable, a HDMI cable, a cable management clip, some documentation, and finally the monitor. Installing the stand is really easy, leaving the monitor in the box, insert the monitor arm into position, and lock it into place. Then place the feet into position, and tighten up using the inbuilt screw. You can then safely lift it out of the box and place it on your desk. The monitor can be easily detached from the monitor arm by pressing down on this button and lifting away. And on the back of the monitor, you have a VESA mounting point, which is 100 by 100 millimeters, allowing you to use different monitor arms or even wall mounting it. With a monitor on my desk, it looks enormous with a 49 inch ultra wide IPS panel. It has slim bezels on three sides and a larger lower area, which has the LG branding in the middle. With a brush matte silver stand, it looks really impressive with an ultra wide curved design. I've placed the dimensions on the screen to give you an idea of sizing and on my desk, which is 120 centimeters wide by 60 centimeters deep, you can see it takes up the entire width of the desk, but you still have room in the front for any peripherals. It has a 3800R curvature, which doesn't feel too overpowering, allowing you to easily use it in conjunction with a monitor light bar without the curvature getting in the way. The monitor arm allows it to be easily adjusted. The height can be adjusted up and down by 110 millimeters. There's also a tilt adjustment of minus 5 degrees to 20 degrees and it can be swiveled left to right by 15 degrees. Viewing angles from the left to right and up and down are pretty good giving 178 degrees of coverage. Now coming around the back of the monitor the color is slightly off white and has the LG logo at the top. The ports are located at the bottom and consist of a USB-B upstream port, USB-C upstream port, a display port 1.4, two HDMI 2.0 ports, a power input with the PSU being built into the monitor, meaning there's no external power brick to worry about hiding. Then we have a Kensington locking point and you can cover up the bottom part where the ports are with a backplate provided. On the left hand side, you have a toggle to turn the monitor on and off, change the different input ports. And this also brings up the OSD menu, which I'll go through later. Next to that, you have two USB ports and a headphone jack. And at the bottom, you have two 10 watt speakers on either side. And using the clip provided, you can attach it to the back of the monitor stand for cable management. I've added some Velcro straps to keep them a bit more secure and tidy behind the stand. The 49WQ95C is a 49 inch super ultra wide curved monitor with a 32 by 9 aspect ratio, giving a 5120 by 1440 resolution. The equivalent of having two 27 inch 1440p monitors side by side and a perfect replacement for my productivity desk where I currently use two 27 inch monitors. And obviously the biggest benefit with having a single monitor of this size is that there's no bezel in the middle, giving you a massive working area with stunning picture quality. So for instance, if you're a content creator and use video editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro, then opening up a project and editing a video is so much easier on a larger screen like this allowing you to see much more of the timeline, which makes editing videos 
so much easier. And as there's so much more width than a standard screen, you can have more windows open and visible at the same time, like I have here with Windows Explorer, my script and YouTube open. The display is a nano IPS panel with HDR 400 and a DCI P3 98% color gamut with a color depth of 16.7 million. The color and detail on the screen is really impressive, especially when working on photos. The color looks accurate and vibrant on the monitor, making it ideal for creative work. Whether it's working on Photoshop or Premiere Pro, text on the monitor looks very sharp too, with decent sharpness levels, giving really good text clarity. The monitor is HDR 400, meaning it has a peak brightness of 400 nits and a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. The screen has a matte finish which helps reduce glare especially if you work in a bright area or you sit next to a window. There's an inbuilt sensor at the top middle for auto brightness control which adjusts the screen brightness according to the level of light in the room helping to provide a comfortable working environment. It also has LG's live color low blue light which helps to protect your eyes against blue light but this doesn't compromise on vivid color quality helping to reduce eye strain. The maximum refresh rate is 144 hertz, which is pretty good, and there's a five millisecond response time. It also supports NVIDIA G-Sync and FreeSync Premium Pro, which we'll test out when gaming later to see how well it performs. Light bleed is there, as with most IPS panels, but it's minimal and there's no noticeable glow in dark scenes. Productivity wise, this monitor is perfect, benefiting from a massive working area and a built-in KVM, allowing you to control multiple devices using a single key keyboard and mouse and this allows me to use the monitor with my Windows PC and Apple Mac mini where I have a USB type B cable to USB A connected to my PC and a type C cable connected to my Mac with the ability to easily flip between the two and I'm also able to use the same keyboard and mouse as it has the built-in KVM. If you are using the monitor with a laptop that had a Thunderbolt connection you could also charge the laptop as well as it displaying on the screen too. It also has a picture in picture and picture by picture modes, allowing you to display two sources at the same time. So you could have your Mac on one side and PC on the other side, or even a gaming console plugged in as the picture by picture resolution is 1440p and that's supported by the Xbox Series X, S and the PlayStation 5. On to gaming and if you're wondering if it's suitable then yes it is but it doesn't have a super fast one millisecond response time that most hardcore gamers are after but even with its five millisecond response time it's more than sufficient for the majority of occasional gamers out there. Gaming with a PC gives a great experience on the ultra wide display, allowing you to see more of what's going on around you, giving a really insane gaming experience. With its 144 hertz refresh rate, there's no screen tearing as both AMD FreeSync Premium Pro and Nvidia G-Sync is supported, giving a really smooth gaming experience. Testing with a console, you can see that the ultra wide format isn't supported and you end up with a stretch screen, which isn't ideal but you can adjust it on the monitor to show it in its original format. But with that, you'll see two black bars on either side, or you could use a picture by picture mode and have the console displayed on one side and your PC on the other side, or even another console to allow a two player gaming setup. Now connecting up my Xbox Series X and looking in display settings with 4K Ultra HD selected at 120 Hertz, you can select this, but it obviously isn't a 4K monitor. So it would lower the resolution to allow you to display it. Now taking a look in display settings, you can see everything is selected except Dolby Vision and Dolby Vision for gaming. With the added feature of variable refresh rate or VRR on the Xbox Series X, S and PlayStation 5. It also has FPS and RTS picture modes as well as a game adjust where you can change the response time from normal, fast and faster to give a better response time. You also have the ability to put a crosshair on the screen and choose between a selection of different ones. So if you're looking for a monitor primarily for productivity needs and the occasional gaming, then this is perfect. The monitor has two 10 watt speakers on either side. Sound quality isn't bad with some depth to it, but it doesn't replace having separate speakers or a good headset plugged in. And you can do this via the 3.5 millimeter audio jack at the side. And to give you an idea of the sound quality, have a listen to this. Looking at the OSD, which is controlled by a toggle at the back, pressing down on it brings up the options. This allows you to switch between different inputs that you may have plugged in, change picture modes and settings for the monitor. The settings option takes you into all the monitor settings, which includes some quick settings where you can adjust brightness levels and the volume and flip between the different picture in picture modes. The interface is pretty intuitive and easy to navigate around. 
So in summary, this is an awesome 49 inch ultra wide monitor from LG with stunning picture quality, giving a massive working area, the equivalent of having two QHD monitors, but without the bezel in the middle, giving you plenty of room to have multiple windows open at the same time with a 32 by nine aspect ratio, giving excellent color accuracy and contrast levels, which give great vibrant pictures together with excellent clarity levels. It's capable of a 144 Hertz refresh rate and a five millisecond and response time supporting AMD FreeSync Premium Pro and Nvidia G-Sync which is more than adequate for a casual gamer to get a smooth gaming experience. It supports picture in picture and picture by picture allowing you to have two input sources plugged in and with the built-in KVM you can use the same keyboard and mouse between sources allowing me to easily use my Mac and PC. There's even two 10 watt speakers and a type C port with power delivery so you could plug in your laptop and charge it. So perfect for a productivity monitor. Price wise, it comes in at under £1,300 or $1,700, which isn't cheap, but you get a lot for your money here. So there you have it. You come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And for those of you who've got to the end of the video, please leave a comment with the words ultra wide as it's nice to see who got to the end of my videos and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.